Binibining Filipinas Charities Incorporated, the Binibining Filipinas 2014 Coronation Night. And now that you've chosen your favorites, let's now meet our candidates, beginning with Bini Bini. What? Julian Ori Flores Manela. Mary Adrian Manalo Pasay City. Joanna and 
Jenica Romero, Naga City. Marusha Pantatinan! Hannah Marie Salaguerra, Mandaluyo City. Annabelle Christine, Gonzalez Dia, Ozamit City. Isa Falgonia, Isulan, Suntan, Suntan. Pia Alonso Workshop, Cagayan de Oro City. Exciting Bini Bini moments await us all throughout the night. So, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and join us only here on the Bini Bini Filipinas 2014 Coronation Night. already foresee that happening just by looking at these 40 studying Filipinas competing tonight. All of them are just so gorgeous. Very beautiful. Plus, of course, the Philippines is still riding high on the impressive victories our Binibini Queens made last year. Imagine we have two crowns, a top 10 finish, a runner-up placement. Kaya naman, our nation is a powerhouse of beauty. Guys, ang masasabi ko lang dyan eh, mabuhay ang Pilipinas, mabuhay ang Pinoy. At syempre, mabuhay din ang Binibini. And this year's candidates, as early as now, are confident they will keep the crowns coming and the honor for our country overflowing. They have all prepared, perspired, and prayed hard for this high-heeled shot at their dreams. Now let's get to meet the men and women who will help our beanies, Binibinis turn their dream into reality. Here's Venus Ra and Shamsi Susu with a panel of judges. 
Thank you so much, Sian. With the addition of Binibining Pilipinas Intercontinental title, this year, five crowns are up for grabs. And I know that makes our Binibinis happier and more excited. Right, girls? Good luck, Bini Beanies, and good luck also to our board of judges because many say this year's batch is one of the best ever in Bini Bini history. Agree ba kayo, guys? Our judges are definitely challenged by the tough job. But just like the Binibining Pilipinas fanatics here at the Big Dome, they're just as excited as well. So let's meet them, beginning with judge number one. Our first judge is the star of UAAP Season 76 Champions, De La Salle Green Archers, and the UAAP Season 76 Finals MVP. Let us all welcome Mr. Jaron Tang. Our next judge is the general manager of Sofitel Philippines Plaza Manila, a five-star luxury resort hotel, and the official residence of Binibining Pilipinas. Please welcome Mr. Adam Laker. Joining the esteemed judges tonight is the president and CEO of Sky Cable Corporation and the leading cable television company in the Philippines and the president of ABS-CBN Convergence Group. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Carlo Katigba. With a stellar career in diplomatic services spanning for more than 20 years, our next judge is the accomplished Consul General of the United States, the Honorable William Christopher. A successful business executive and now a public servant, the Secretary of the Department of Trade and Industry, let us all welcome Secretary Gregory Domingo. Our sixth judge, the first vice president of Mega World Corporation and one of the country's outstanding young business executives. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kevin L. Tan. Our seventh judge, a multi-awarded broadcast journalist and top-rating magazine show host, our next judge is the Chief Correspondent for the Integrated News and Current Affairs Division of ABS-CBN Corporation, DZMM, and Cable Channel ANC. Let us all please welcome Ms. Corina Sanchez. Our next judge, one of People Asia Magazine's People of the Year awardee and the Head of Broadcast of ABS-CBN Corporation, the leading conglomerate in the Philippines, Ms. Cory Vidanes. An esteemed diplomat who has dedicated more than 30 years in public service. He now serves as the ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Embassy of the Mexican States in the Philippines. Let us all welcome our Chairman of the Board of Judges, His Excellency Mexican Ambassador Julio Camarena. He is a multi-awarded public servant and one of our newcomers to the Philippine Senate who has dedicated over a decade in service to educational reform. Please welcome our panel of judges, Senator Sonny Angara. <laughs> and heading this year's Bini Bini Pilipinas panel of judges is a Venezuelan beauty queen and businesswoman who was crowned as the most beautiful woman in the universe last November 2013 in Moscow, Russia. Let us all please welcome the stunning Miss Universe 2013, Gabriela Isler. Welcome to the Philippines, Gabriela Isler. At mamaya mga kapamilya, meron tayong All at Chica session with our reigning Miss Universe. But meanwhile, salamat din po sa ating mga official tabulators, SGV and company.
Thank you also to the people who keep the Binibini spirit alive and of course, beautiful. Please welcome the BBCI committee headed by Mrs. Stella Marquez Araneta. We also have the co-chairman with us tonight, Mrs. Conchettina Sevilla Bernardo. Let us also acknowledge the presence of the members of the committee, Mrs. Betsy Westendorf Brias, Mr. Raymond Villanueva, and Senor Arturo Marquez. Thank you and congratulations, BPCI, for our huge success last year. Now, back to Ann and Sian for some thrilling announcements. Thank you, ever so beautiful ladies. This edition of Binibining Pilipinas is a special one and definitely historical because we will see three reigning international title holders together on stage later this evening. Yes, Ann, we have Miss International, Miss Supranational, and of course, Miss Universe. Diba? Yeah, that's definitely one for the pageant books. So we'll keep the momentum on high gear as we now announce the winners of our first set of special awards. Handing the envelopes to us now is Mr. Manolito Montes, our representative from SGV and Company. Thank you, sir. Are you guys excited? <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. We shall begin with the Best in National Costume Award. A week ago, the winner was already announced in The Road to the Crown 2014. And tonight, we shall present this award to Binibini 13, Chris Tiffany Hanson. She receives 50,000 pesos worth of wardrobe from BPCI. Congratulations. Next up, we have the award for Miss Talent, who was chosen from a competition held last Valentine's Day. Miss Talent brings home 50,000 pesos worth of wardrobe from BPCI. And this year's Miss Talent is none other than... Bini Bini number 33, Gabriel Erika Tilukani. Congratulations. Congratulations, Binibini. Next up, we have the face of Binibini Pilipinas 2014. Show us your wonderful smile. She is this year's Miss Photogenic. Thank you, sir. Taking home 50,000 pesos worth of wardrobe from BPCI and a Fujifilm XF1 digital camera from Picture City. And she is Beanie Beanie 13, Chris Tiffany Hanson. The crowd went right on that one. From the friendliest to the camera lens, let's move on to the friendliest to her co-candidates who voted for her as this year's Miss Friendship. She wins 50,000 pesos worth of wardrobe from BBCI, and she is none other than Bini Bini. Number 21, Raquel Capiti. Congratulations. Chosen through a text poll, this winner of Manila Bulletin's Reader's Choice Award. She wins three days. Two nights stay in Manila Hotel, 5,000 pesos worth of gift certificate at the Mabuhay Lounge, full body massage for two, one year subscription of Manila Bulletin newspaper, and 10,000 pesos in cash. This year's Manila Bulletin Reader's Choice Award is... Bini Bini, 39. Lady Lynn Riva. Congratulations. 
thank you and congratulations. And lastly, well, at least for now, the award for the candidate who best exemplifies the outer and inner beauty of an Avon woman. She will be known as Binibining Avon and will have the opportunity to be featured in Avon brochures and will take home Avon products. And this year's Binibining Avon is none other than Binibini! Come on, guys. 35! Event Santiago! Congratulations! Oh. Congratulations to all the winners of our first set of special awards. Good job, ladies. And to present their awards for the best in national costume, here are Nina Ricci Alagao, Binibining Pilipinas Universe 2000. For Miss Talent, we have Elaine Mall, Miss Supra National 2012, third runner-up. For Miss Photogenic is the president of Picture City, attorney Paul Santos, and Serena Gatbonton, Binibining Pilipinas International 2010. For Miss Friendship, Patricia Fernando, Binibining Pilipinas International 2008. For the Manila Bulletin Reader's Choice Award, we have the External Affairs Head, Mr. Barbie Atienza, and Corporate Communication Manager, Ms. Badet Kunanan. And for Binibining Avon, here is the Commercial Execution Manager of Avon Philippines, Ms. Maya Kapuang, and Diane Nesho, Binibining Pilipinas International 2011. Congratulations to the winners of our first set of special awards. Nako, Janine, ito yung uh, feeling na kinakabahan ka. Uh -oh, alam na, alam ko yan, Venus. Yung tipong hindi mo na alam kung anong kukuni mong gamit, kung saan uh -oh. ka pupunta. Pero, ang curious ako, eh ganun din ba yung naramdaman ng mga candidates wow. sa atin? Wow, tanungin nga natin sila. Na oh, ako. here, we have your candidate number 37. 37. So now that after all your hard work is done and now today is the coronation, anong naramdam mo ka ba? Doko ba? You're just relaxed? I feel kind of nervous but I'm so excited to know the winners tonight. I hope they're all deserving. That's great. Thank you so much, candidate number seven. Thank you, ladies. ladies. You may now go backstage and prepare for the swimsuit competition. And speaking of backstage, Venus, no, andyan ako kanina at masasabi ko, napaka-exciting ng mga pangyayari doon. Hectic, medyo nga ragang mga tao, pero ang maganda at it's very important, masaya at enjoy sila sa mga ginagawa nila. Yun naman ang importante. So mga kapamilya, if you wanna catch all these updates sa backstage, just log on to www.abs-cbn.com. And now our ladies are backstage preparing for the next segment, which is the swimsuit competition. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. Back here on Bini Bini Pilipinas 2014. Now in all international pageants, every time we hear Philippines, parang fiesta sa buong bansa. Pinoy's, they scream, they jump, they hug each other. As per tradition daw, lahat ng beauty parlors are closed on that day. That's how much we love beauty pageants. I think it's actually like a national sport here in our country. So what you're saying, Anis, parang Pacquiao fight yan. Para siya Pacquiao fight, pero sa, para sa ating mga Beckys and ladies, this is equivalent to that, di ba? Tama ba ako? Hindi. Tama. But you know what? At this point, I think this is your favorite segment, Zian. Uh, and I'll do my best not to stare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here now is a recall or a throwback of that festive spirit as we begin the Binibining Pilipinas 2014 Swimsuit Competition, featuring some of the most awesome festivals of our country. <laughs> Binibini 1, Julian Oreen Flores. Julian loves to go on spontaneous trips, discover new places, and experience different cultures. 
Binibini 1, Julia Noreen Flores. Binibini 2, Mary Angeli Manalo. 21-year-old Angeli recently just took on a new hobby, climbing mountains. Binibini 2, Mary Angeli Manalo. Binibini 3, Joanna Angelica Romero. 24-year-old Joanna was a member of the Ateneo Basketball Women's Varsity in college. Binibini 3, Joanna Angelica Romero. Binibini 4, Parul Shah. 25-year-old Parul grew up in three different countries, the United Arab Emirates, India, and the Philippines. Binibini 4, Parul Shah. Binibini 5, Hannah Maris de la Guerra. 21-year-old Hannah is the youngest and only girl among five siblings. Binibini 5, Hannah Maris de la Guerra. Binibini 6, Annabelle Christine Tia. Annabelle is pursuing her first dream of being an artist and shares her talent to children. Binibini 6, Annabelle Christine Tia. Binibini 7, Isa Faildonia. 24-year-old Isa is a nature lover and an outdoorsy kind of girl. Binibini 7, Isa Faildonia. Binibini 8, Pia Wurzbach. 24-year-old Pia studied professional culinary arts and worked as a chef in England. Binibini 8, Pia Wurzbach. Binibini 9, Joy Antoinette Diaz. Joy now pursues her dream of becoming a family lawyer as she was recently accepted into law school. Binibini 9, Joy Antoinette Diaz. Binibini 10, Shona Indra Curran. Half Igorota, half Scottish Shona is a radio DJ and a professional events host in Baguio City. Binibini 10, Shona Indra Curran. Binibini 11, Laura Lehman. 20-year-old Laura is a scholar and graduated with highest honors at the International School Manila. Binibini 11, Laura Lehman. Binibini 12, Sarah Jaire Acido. 23-year-old Sarah enjoys playing badminton, volleyball, and table tennis. Binibini 12, Sarah Jaire Acido. Binibini 13, Chris Hansen. 24-year-old Chris enjoys traveling, trying new things, and loves extreme sports. Binibini 13, Chris Hansen.
Binibini, 14. Emma Mary Tiglao. Emma loves to dance, watch movies, read books, and she loves going on trips abroad. Binibini, 14. Emma Mary Tiglao. Binibini 15, Kim Berlin Suiza. Kim finds comfort by listening to music. She loves basking in the sun and swimming in the beach. Binibini 15, Kim Berlin Suiza. Binibini 16, Zahara Soriano. 20-year-old Zahara is now into modeling and fitness, but she also enjoys eating street food. Binibini 16, Zahara Soriano. Binibini 17, Diana Arevalo. Diana has been working in a five-star hotel in Macau for two years now. Binibini 17, Diana Arevalo. Binibini 18, Elior Punsalan. Some of Elior's interests include musical theater, interior design, and photography, among others. Binibini 18, Elior Bunsalan. Binibini 19, May Lizelle Ramos. Lizelle loves to eat spicy food. She even brings chili with her in case restaurants don't have any. Binibini 19, May Lizelle Ramos. Binibini 20, Kenneth Santiago. 22-year-old Kenneth is a shoe designer and runs her own shoe business online. Binibini 20, Kenneth Santiago. and swimsuit award come from this group we have yet to find out so in the meantime let's see what janine and venus have to say about these killer bodies grabe venus no hindi talagang kitang kita mo sa kanila yung paghihirap at training nila sa gym wala ako masabi sobrang si sexy yes at napakarami hong magaganda talaga at first batch pa lang to janina so hindi pa talaga natin masasabi kung sino ang mananalo dahil dahil ang aga-aga pa naman venus yes. at Marami pa mga binibinis ang hindi magpapatalo sa kanilang swimsuit competition. And I'm sure hinihintay pa rin ng marami yung mga favorites nila. That's right. Siyempre kasama ka na rin dyan, Miss Janine Togonon. O, oh, ba? Mga kapamilya, you can also see our binibinis and of course more of the memorable binibini moments in the special April edition of Star Studio Magazine. So what are you waiting for, mga kapamilya? Grab your copies now. But meanwhile... More binibinis in their ravishing trikinis when we return. the big dome at sa nakikita nyo naman parang fiesta pa rin sa buong Coliseum and no one and nothing can stop the fans from cheering for their favorites. Sino nga ba guys? <laughs> Keep
keep it coming, guys, because our fiesta fever continues as we present to you our second batch of Bini Beanies in the Bini Beaning Pilipinas 2014 Swimsuit Competition. Binibini 21, Raquel Kabig King. 22 year old Raquel is an emergency rescue member. She is a trained and licensed lifesaver. Binibini 21, Raquel Kabig King. Binibini 22, Marianne Bianca Guidotti. This 24-year-old Binibini likes cats, animated movies, music, and books. Binibini 22, Marianne Bianca Guidotti. Binibini 23, Nicole Marie Manalo. Nicole appreciates the simple things in life and values integrity and the pursuit of education. Binibini 23, Nicole Marie Manalo. Binibini 24, Ed Nornans Agustin. 23-year-old Eds from Davao City dreams of becoming a runway model in Paris someday. Binibini 24, Ed Normans Agustin. Binibini 25, Mary Jean Lastimosa. MJ is a health buff who loves to dance and travel solo. Binibini 25, Mary Jean Lastimosa. Binibini 26, Hannah Sheena Manuel. Sheena is a sweet, simple girl who loves to work out in her downtime. Binibini 26, Hannah Sheena Manuel. Binibini 27, Hannah Season. 25-year-old Hannah is interested in anything that has to do with music, the arts, and fashion. Binibini 27, Hannah Season. Binibini 28, Carla Janina Lizardo. Carla had the privilege of representing the Philippines in international badminton competitions. Binibini 28, Carla Janina Lizardo. Binibini 29, Chriselle de Guzman Halili. Chriselle loves weekend night outs and spontaneous trips with her friends. Binibini 29, Chriselle de Guzman Halili. Binibini 30, Joy Marie Gangan. This former corn farmer from Isabella loves to cook and surf the internet. Binibini 30, Joy Marie Gangan. Binibini 31, Angelique Celine De Leon. At 23, Angelique enjoys arts and crafts, swimming, and playing basketball. 
Bilibini 31, Angelique Celine De Leon. Bilibini 32, Jesslyn Santos. As a former volleyball varsity player, Jesslyn advocates sports clinic programs for the youth. Binibini 32, Jesslyn Santos. Binibini 33, Gabriel Tilocani. 22-year-old Gabe is fond of singing and watching the latest movies with her brothers. Binibini 33, Gabriel Tilocani. Binibini 34, Leonalyn De La Cruz. At 23, Leonalyn loves reading business, leadership, and self-help books. Binibini 34, Leonalyn De La Cruz. Binibini 35, Yvette Marie Santiago. Yvette likes to read novels, watch movies, and spend quality time with her family. Binibini 35, Yvette Marie Santiago. Binibini 36, Crystal Alondai. 22-year-old Crystal from Bulacan loves to read books and listen to jazz music. Binibini 36, Crystal Alondai. Binibini 37, Vanessa Saliba. At 18, Vanessa loves to swim, play badminton, read novels, and travel the world. Binibini 37, Vanessa Saliba. Binibini 38, Janine Asanyon. Janine from Zambales is fond of going to the beach and playing badminton and volleyball. Binibini 38, Janine Asanyon. Binibini 39, Lady Lynn Riva. Outdoor activities like playing tennis, badminton, and riding a bike keeps 26-year-old Lady Lynn busy. Binibini 39, Lady Lynn Riva. Binibini 40, Vesica Sambo. 21-year-old Vesica from Bulacan loves to watch beauty pageants and go biking with her father. Binibini 40, Vesica Sambo. Binibinis, you are all amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, that officially concludes the Binibining Pilipinas 2014 swimsuit competition. Now, here again are Queens Forever, Janine and Shamsi with their comments. Thank you, Sia. Grab it, Janino. Don't they all look so stunning and so sexy in their swimsuit? Tama ka dyan, Shamsi. Totoo yan. Pero ito, isa pang truth. Sa swimsuit round, Ang laki din talaga na nagagawa ng hair ng isang candidate kasi dapat bagay yung pagka-sexy ng swimsuit sa hair niya. Alam natin yan. Alam na alam natin yes. yan. Yes, tama ka dyan, Janine. You know, it's all about the flip of the hair in the swimsuit competition. And for that, we'd like to thank Creamsilk, the number one hair brand in the Philippines for making not just our Binibinis and our queens, but all Filipinas beyond just beautiful.
And of course, congratulations on your 30th year. Wow! That means 30 years of empowering women and giving us confidence to let our hair take us to greater heights. Hmm. Way to go, Cream Silk. And when we return, more confident women in swimsuit will take on the stage. So please, take on your seats and we'll be right back. Back here on Binibining Pilipinas 2014 and we're off to our next round of competition. With me now is a Binibini whose elegance in her long gown is internationally renowned. Please welcome Bea Santiago, Miss International 2013. Hello. Bea, can you tell us what kind of Binibini stands out in a long gown competition? Well, in this round, a Binibini should really make sure that she feels like a queen, like she owns a ramp, and that everybody is staring at her with her presence and stage command. All right, now we're about to find out who among our candidates will do just what Bea said. As we now begin the Binibining Pilipinas 2014 Long Gown Competition. Binibini won Julian Oreen Flores. Binibini 2, Mary Angeli Manalo. Binibini 3, Joanna Angelica Romero. Binibini 4, Parul Shah. Binibini 5, Ana Maris de la Guerra. Binibini 6, Annabelle Christine Tia. Binibini 7, Isa Paeldonia.
all saw him perform on Miss Universe last November. And this night, he's making his debut performance here in the Philippines. He's in our country now to extend his help and show his care to the survivors of Typhoon Yolanda. Thank you very much, sir. So together with our 40 Binibinis, Ara, please do the honor. Yes, of course. Mga kapamilya, here to perform a song from his new album, Amor, which is available on iTunes. And, uh, oh, by the way, I'm, I'm also included on his um, music video in oh. another live. So we can't wait to watch that. Yeah, so check it out, guys. So now, please welcome the international pop star, Amin. Let's go! 
prize and more special awards coming your way only here on the Bini Bini Filipinas 2014 Coronation Night. Hello again! You are still watching Bini Bini Filipinas 2014. And at this point, we would like to acknowledge the presence of Ms. Paula Sugart, President of Miss Universe Organization. Good evening, ma'am. Welcome to the Philippines. And right now, Shamsi and I have the pleasure to present to you the winners of our second set of special awards. And the envelopes are being handed to us by Mr. Manolito Montes. Hello, sir. Thank you. Okay. Let us begin with the best in swimsuit award. And then it's given to the Beanie Beanie who exudes confidence in her swimwear. Thanks to the hypoallergenic and dermatologically tested Placid White Intimate, which widens the bikini area. Our winner can now wear her personality sexier this summer. She wins one year supply of Placid White Intimate and wardrobe from BBCI worth 75,000 pesos. And this year's Lactacid Best in Swimsuit Award goes to... Who is it? The Best in Swimsuit Award is... Beanie Beanie 25! Mary Jean Lastimosa! Next, my favorite, the award for the best in long gown. Why not oh. expert ka dyan talaga, Venus? <laughs> oh, Shamsi, of course. Napakagaling mo sa portion na to because of your uh, tsunami walk. Thank you, Venus. <laughs> but let's not talk about ourselves. Let's now announce the winner of the best in long gown. This Bini Bini wears her ensemble to a T. Her gown embraces her form ever so perfectly as she glides across the stage with her supreme confidence, commanding presence and her beauty that is beyond limits. She received 75,000 worth of, of wardrobe from BBCI and a special gift from Cream Silk, a trip to any destination of her choice. And she happens to be Beanie Beanie! Best in long gown is Beanie Beanie 22. Mary Ann Bianca Guidotti. Congratulations! Good job, girls! We see over the metropolis our Beanie Beanies in huge billboards wearing cool, casual outfits by Jag. Tonight, we shall present the She So Jag Award to the Beanie Beanie who exemplifies the spirit of the young modern Pinay. She will receive 50,000 pesos in cash and one year Jag clothing sponsorship. Okay, our She So Jag 2014 is no other than Beanie Beanie! Beanie Beanie number eight, Pia Wurzbach. Our next award, the Miss Philippines Airlines Award. The winner will become the airline's ambassadress and will get a round trip ticket to Los Angeles, California. And she happens to be Beanie Beanie. Beanie Beanie 8. Pia, words back. We're down to our last special award. 
And to announce the winner is the newest endorser of Cream Silk and our host tonight, the beautiful Miss Anne Curtis. Thank you, ladies. Miss Cream Silk possesses the perfect manifestation of the Filipina's greatest asset, her hair. She breezes through life with elegance, class, and power. Indeed, success and glory is where her hair takes her. She is confident, unstoppable, and limitless. This Filipina is beyond beautiful. She gets a trip to a destination of her choice. And she is... Bini Bini! 35 Event Santiago! To present the awards, for Best in Swimsuit, Mafe Yunon Belasco, Binibining Pilipinas World 2003. For Best in Long Gown, we have Margie Moran, Miss Universe 1973. For the Shiso JAG Award is the Country Operations Head of JAG Jeans, Mr. James Perry and Karen Agustin, Binibining Pilipinas Universe 2002. For Miss Philippine Airlines, we have the officer in charge, sales domestic of POW, Mr. Bud Britannico, and Maricar Balagtas, Binibining Pilipinas Universe 2004. And for Miss Cream Silk, we have the senior brand manager of Cream Silk, Miss Anne Remulia, with Marie Anne Umali, Binibining Pilipinas World 2009. here at the backstage of the Big Dome and right now, kasama natin ang Miss Supranational 2013 Johanna Mutia Datul and Miss Tourism Queen International Top 10 finalist Cindy Miranda. How are you ladies? What's going on with you right now? Hi, Janine. Hello. Grabe, hindi talaga ako makapaniwala. Parang ang bilis ng nakaraang taon dahil siguro ang dami na nang nangyari. Yes. That's right. Isang oras na lang, nako. Isang oras na lang, ipapasa na namin ang aming mga yes. corona. So talagang at this point, mixed emotions talaga yung nararamdaman namin. Well, I must say, ladies, you both wore your crowns the true Binibini way. Pero, talagang malapit yun ang ipasa ang inyong mga corona because yes. we are about to announce our top 15. At alam ko, iniintay na to ng lahat at ayoko na patagalin pa. So, once again, here CN and Anne. This is it! This is it! Everyone is so nervous! There's like some sort of silence now in the in the stadium, right? Yeah. Everyone make some noise for your favorite Binibini! <laughs> Who do you think is deserving to be part of the top 15? <laughs> All right, we are all set for this highly anticipated moment. From 40, our Binibinis will be trimmed down to this year's top 15 finalists. And the envelope that we have and is being handed to us now by Mr. Manolito Montes, representing our official tabulators, SGB and company. Thank you, sir. Here it is, mga kapamilya! The envelope, the envelope that will determine the fate of our Bini Beanies. Come on, everyone, cheer on! <laughs> Yell your favorite! We are about to announce the top 15! Keep your fingers crossed, guys. And why don't you call in the first Bini Bini whose crown goes on? Yes, Ian. This is so suspenseful. The dream to become a queen. I will open it slowly. Is still alive for our first finalist. And she is. Bini Bini, number 11. Laura Victoria Lemon. Congratulations.
crowd favorite, Bini Bini number four, Parusha. Come on down, Bini Bini. 23, Nicole Marie Manalo. Congratulations, Bini Bini number 16, Zahara May Soriano. Show us your beautiful smile, Bini Bini. 35, Yvette Marie Santiago. Congratulations, Bini Bini. Number 14, Emma Mary Ticlau. Come on down, Bini Bini. 20, Kenneth Santiago. Congratulations, you are still on your way to the crown. Bini Bini number 13, Chris Tiffany Hansen. We are down to our last two. Come on down, Bini Bini 27, Hannah Ruth Cecil. And to complete our top 15 finalists, who do you think it's gonna be? Come on, guys. Congratulations. Bini Bini number 19, May Lizelle Ramos. Congratulations to the top 15 finalists. You guys deserve it. And to all our Bini Beanies, thank you so much for making this year's competition one of the tightest ever in Bini Bini history. That's so true, Zian. I have to say, all of them are extremely beautiful. I had a hard time even choosing my own bets. Congratulations once again to our top 15. And now, here are Venus and Shamsi and what they have to say about our top 15. Did their bets make the cut? Let's check it out. Grabe, Janine. From Ooh. 40 down to 15. I wonder how the girls are feeling right now. Kung ako nga sobrang kabado ngayon, paano pa sila, di ba? Pero Shamsi, tandaan natin na lima lang sa kanila mag-uwi ng corona sa gabing ito. It's time to know what lies between the lovely ears of our Bini Binis. Mga kapamilya, this is the Binibining Pilipinas 2014 question and answer round. There are 15 names encoded in our randomizer, 11 names of the judges we have here tonight, three of the international title holders, and a globally acclaimed Filipino designer who will ask his question on video. Our finalists will simply press this button here in front of me. Now that's the easy part. And the name that appears on the screen will ask his or her question, which our Bini Beanies should answer excellently in 30 seconds. Now that part, not so easy. And if you hear this sound, that means your time is up. <laughs> All right, good luck to our finalists. And we shall now begin with Bini Bini. 11. Laura Lehman. Good evening. You're looking stunning tonight. How do you feel? I'm just really happy to be here and I'm very excited for what's in store the rest of the night. I can hear all your fans cheering you on. They're just as excited as you are. All right. All right, let's begin. 
your judge will be. Ambassador Julio Camarena. Dear candidate, what city in the world do you think best suits your character and why? I think the city in the world that best suits my character would be Amsterdam. I love the city. It's very liberal. People are able to have fun and yet they follow rules at the same time. It is, city, it is a city that I would like to visit one day and it is, it is a city that definitely represents my fun personality. Thank you. Thank you, Binibini 11. For our next Binibini, come on down, Binibini 1. Julian Aurin Flores. Hello, Julian. How are you feeling tonight? Um, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm excited. That's okay. All right, your judge is. Mr. Adam Laker. Good evening. As a beauty pageant contestant, what would you say to people who lack in as much self-confidence as you have? What I would say to the people who lack confidence is to trust yourself. It is by then people will believe in you, and when people believe in you, they will love you. That is all. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. Thank you very much. All right. Up next, we have Bini Bini, 22, Mary Ann Bianca Guidotti. Good evening. How does it feel having all these people scream for you tonight? This is absolutely surreal, and I'm just so happy to be here, and I want to thank everyone who made it possible for me to be here tonight. Good luck. Good luck, Bini Bini. And your judge is... Secretary Gregory Domingo. My question is, uh, should you win one of the titles, how would you use your crown to push for your advocacy? Well, if I should win a title, I would use my crown to influence people to adopt their own advocacy. I want people to be passionate about it. Um, something that really is close to their heart. I will someday hopefully make an NGO of my own. So that is how I would promote my advocacy. Thank you. Thank you very much and thank you Secretary thank you, Gregory Domingo. Up next we have Binibini number three, Joanna Angelica Romero. You look beautiful tonight. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? Yes, but I'm excited. That's the important thing. All right. Your judge will be... Miss Melanie Marquez. Okay, here's my question. There is a saying, there is a song that says, Do you, uh, all we need is love. All you need is love. Okay, apart from love, what else do you think we need? Thank you so much for that wonderful question. I think aside from love, all we need is beauty. Well, beauty is not about physical appearance alone. It is about what is inside of you. It is how you share, how you inspire other people, and through that, we can achieve unity. And it goes on and on and on. <laughs> that would be all, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, up next, and we have Bini Bini 25, Mary Jean Lastimosa. Hello, Mary Jean. Before we start, would you like to say hi to all your fans? You're such a crowd favorite. 
Um, first of all, I would like to greet my province. I have a centennial year. There, everyone's here from North Cotabato. And hi, guys. Thank you for cheering for me. And to all my supporters, I love you guys. It's amazing. Thank you. And your judge will be... The beautiful Miss Gabriela Isler. March is Woman Month. For you, what is greatest advantage of being a woman? I'm sorry. Oh, the greatest advantage. Um, the greatest advantage of being a woman is being able to compose ourselves. Just like here, we're standing in front of thousands of people, not knowing if you're going to cheer for us or boo us. But we try to compose ourselves. We keep the emotions and show the beauty that is in us. And tonight, thousands of people are standing here celebration, celebrating the beauty of a woman, and that's an advantage of a woman. Thank you. Wow. wow. The crowd went wild. Thank you, Binibini. Up next, we have Binibini. Eight. Pia works back. Another crowd favorite. Would you like to say anything before we start? I'm just really happy to be here tonight. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time and I'm finally here, so thank you. Thank you very much. All right. You're looking beautiful. All right, and your judges. Senator Juan Edgardo Angara. Uh, good, good evening, candidate. Uh, okay lang ba Tagalog? Can I ask it in Tagalog? Opo, pwede ko rin pong sagutin ng Tagalog ah, kung sige, gusto sige. niyo po. A a ano yung... Very good. Ano yung pinakamagandang leksyon na maituturo ng isang babae sa buong mundo? Ang isang leksyon na maituturo ng babae sa buong mundo ay yung tiwala sa kanyang sarili. Yung intuition po na tinatawag natin. Pag meron ka pong intuition, alam mo po sa sarili mo kung saan mo ilulugar yung sarili mo sa mundo. Kahit na hindi ka sigurado sa nararamdaman mo o sa naiisip mo, pero kung alam mo sa intuition mo, then magiging successful ka po sa kahit anong gawin mo sa buhay mo. Should I say it in English for the judge, other judges? I don't know um, if there's enough time, but intuition, it's very important. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. Thank you very much. All right, up next we have Bini Bini for Parul Shah. Hello, you're such a crowd favorite as well. Why don't you Everyone go say hi? screaming for you. How does it feel? It's overwhelming. Yes, it's an overwhelming feeling to have everyone here to come not only support me, but all the other beautiful 39 Bini Beanies. Okay. There you go. Please press the randomizer. Miss Corina Sanchez. Hello, candidate, and good evening to you. Good luck. As a Bini Bini, you must be updated on events happening around you. What particular current event or latest news affects you the most and why? I'll have to say it's about the uh, Malaysian Airlines that went down. My, my sincere love and compassion goes out to all the families that lost their loved ones. But all I can say is that we shouldn't lose faith in God, and everything will go on if we have faith in God. Thank you. Thank you very much, Binibini. We shouldn't lose faith. That is true. <laughs> All right. Last but not the least, Binibini 23, Nicole Marie Manalo. 
You look lovely tonight. How does it feel to be part of the top 15? I'm just very happy to be here, to be able to stand in front of so many people, risking for my dream. Dreams do come true, and you're here now tonight. All right. Your judge is. Miss Cory Vidanes. Good evening. Do you think that being a beauty queen is a plus or a minus in landing a serious job in the corporate world? For me, being a beauty queen is an advantage because if you have the beauty, you, can ha you have this ability to inspire and influence other people. You have this beauty in you that you can use to share your talent, your skills, and your resources in that way is that it is an advantage for your work. Thank you very Thank you, much. There you have it. Well done, ladies. We hope you all gave it your best shot because on the other side of the break, the other seven finalists are going to give their all to Trumpet. Mga pamilya, please stay tuned for that. We'll be right back. And we're back here at the Big Dome. And we shall proceed with this competition, which we saw earlier really requires focus and composure. Yes, you really have to get hold of yourself once you face your question. And that's quite hard considering the tension-filled air in this whole venue. As I mentioned earlier, it's eerily quiet at the moment. Everyone yeah, is. is really just waiting and listening to what our candidates have to say. Pero don't worry, Binibinis, dahil kaya ang kaya niyan. All right, let's call in our next Binibini. Starting with... Binibini 16. Zahara Soriano. Your question will come from Mr. Kevin Tan. Good evening, candidate. Uh, Hi, good evening. If you were given a chance to talk before an international audience, what will you tell them about Filipino heroism? As a Filipino, I am proud to be a Filipino, and would you like the judge to repeat the question? Uh, would you repeat the question again, sir? Uh, if you were given a chance. To to talk before an international audience, what would you tell them about Filipino heroism? Well, about Filipino heroism, I can say that we have a modern hero who, who is OFW, who sacrificed their life, their family, to go abroad and work for their family. So that's the only thing that I want to say to a foreigner or to a visitors from international. Thank you. Good answer. Great job. Thank you very much, Binibini. Up next, we have Binibini 35, Yvette Marie Santiago. You have a lot of fans. Would you like to say hi? I would like to say hi to everyone who came all the way from Bicol and all my other friends. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. Your question will come from... Miss Margie Moran. Hi. Hello, I'm, ma. I'm certain that you watch all the international beauty pageants, especially yeah. the Miss Universe. Yeah. In your opinion, what quality is inherent in a Filipina that will make her stand out in the beauty pageant? I believe that the quality that every Filipina has that makes her stand out an international pageant is confidence. We feel confident in our own skin and that makes us feel very beautiful. 
And with that, we shine and we are able to sh share the best that we have to all the people around the world. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pinibu. Up next, we have Bini Bini. 14, Emma Mary Tiglao. Hello, Mary. Your question will come from? Mr. Carlo Katigbak. Good evening, Bini Bini 14. What do you think are the reasons why the Philippines became the number one powerhouse of beauty in 2013. I believe that it is not about only the physical beauty, but also the inner beauty. But the, what we call uh, true beauty of a Filipina, it possesses the heart. We are committed and we are, the, we are capable to do our duties and resp responsibilities of being a beauty queen. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we have Binibini 20, Kenneth Santiago. Please press the randomizer, and your question will come from Miss Precious Lara Kigaman. Good evening, Kenneth. Name one thing that you would sacrifice for a Binibini crown. I think one thing that I would sacrifice for a Bini Bini crown is my shoes. You know, it's very hard for me to find shoes because I have this very big shoe size. But for Bini Bini, I would sacrifice this precious thing that I have just to have the crown. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go, her shoes. All it's right. hard to compete. If you yes. don't have your shoes. We need our shoes. Beanie Beanie, 13, come on down. Chris, Tiffany, Hanson. Hi. Your question will come from... Mr. Michael Cinco. on video. Hello, good evening. My question is, if you could go back in time, what would you change and why? There you go. If I could go back in time, I would go to my father and tell him how much I love him. Because I know that it was something I took for granted, but Tonight, I do not worry because I know that he has the best seat and he is watching from above. And tonight, I am one step closer in fulfilling his dream. Thank you. Thank well, you. I, I'm actually tearing up with yeah. her answer. That was beautiful. Thank you. That kind of made me reminisce. <laughs> yeah. Come on down, Bini Bini 27. Hannah Sison. Hello, Hannah. The question will come from Mr. Jeron Peng. Hello, um, good evening. Before I give my question, I just want to thank Pepsi Red and Edwin Tan for my suit tonight. So, the question is Would you fall in love and marry outside your religion? Why or why not? If I were to fall in love outside of my religion, I would. Because for me, it's not about what you are. You should not condemn any person because of their religion. Love is what you need to get into your relationship. And that's why I would marry someone, or I would fall in love with someone who's not even part of my religion. Thank you. Thank you very much. She talks with so much love. And grace. Yeah. And the last but not the least, 
Binibini. 19, May Lizelle Ramos. Hello, May Lizelle. Your question is, Honorable William Christopher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, sir. What about being a Filipino woman are you most proud of and why? The part where I'm most proud of being a Filipino woman is that I'm confident. In every step that I do, I believe in myself. I love what I do and I'm really passionate about what I do. So that is what I'm confident about. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That officially concludes all rounds of competition tonight. Now we are nearing the home stretch and the finish line where the crowns await. So please stay with us, guys. Meanwhile, here's Shamsi and Venus. Wow, grabe. Ano mo? The Q&A competition is really the most nerve-wracking part of the pageant, hindi pa Venus. That's true. Dito makikita mo yung personality ng kada kandidata. And lagi nating sinasabi that Q&A can also make or break a candidate. But of course, we want to focus on the brighter side of it. Yes. On that note, we want to thank our sponsors for our gowns for tonight. We would like to thank Jot Lossa and Francis Liberian for my gowns, Naomi for my jewelries, Omar Ermita for my makeup, and of course, Jing Monis Salon for my hair. And I'd also like to thank Kwa for my makeup, Jing Monis for my hair, and Cherry Verick, Francis Liberian, Leo Almodal for my gowns. Thank you so much for making us beautiful tonight. And I'm sure, Shamsi, our top 15 really made their supporters happy tonight. Not just those who are watching here, watching on TV, pero yung mga pina-follow din sila sa social media. Yes, talagang nakita natin ang support ng kanilang mga followers sa Facebook, sa Instagram, and sa Twitter. Iba talaga kapag malakas ang connection natin at home. That's true. And of course, only PLDT Home DSL can provide this service the best as we enjoy limitless family sharing from the fast and strong, reliable family-sized connection. Just like our reigning beauty queens who'll do their farewell walk but will always stay connected with us. That's after the break, so stay tuned! Last year really turned out to be a 50 carat year for our Binibining Pilipinas Gold Queens. Now, their reign is almost over, but their image and their legacy will surely remain timeless. I know this could be a bit sentimental for many of us because at a time when our country was suffering from man-made chaos and natural disasters, our queens helped in brightening up those gloomy days. They have given us immense pride and joy, and without a doubt, they are the most successful batch of Bini Bini queens ever. And so tonight, in their farewell walk, let's all shower them with our love and gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Binibining Pilipinas Gold Queens. All right, I would first like to thank Leo Almodal and Francis Libyan for my gowns tonight, Kwa for my makeup, and Jingmoni Salon for my hair. Thank you so much. You look stunning tonight, Janine. Thank and you. we missed you, alam mo ba yon? <laughs> Thank you. And to our reigning queens, we wish you all the success in all your future endeavors. Alam namin na simula pa lamang to at marami pa kayong maaabot at mararating. And we'll always be behind you just like our major presenter tonight, Cream Soot, because the number one hair brand in the Philippines will always support and uplift all Filipinas who are beyond just beautiful. And thank you for that commitment, Cream Soot. And when we return, we'll have a chance to speak with our special guest artist, Emin, and together with no less than Miss Universe, the beautiful Gabriela Isler. Yes, and right after that, five new queens will be proclaimed. So, dyan lamang po kayo, mga kapamilya. Alamin ho natin kung sino-sino ang mga magiging bagong reyna ng Pilipinas. In just a few moments, so don't go away. We'll be back. So here at 
the Big Dome and the fans are going wild! And I'm sure everyone is so excited because we have with us the Russian pop superstar, Emin. And of course, the lovely and stunning Miss Universe 2013, Miss Gabriela Isler. Thank you. Hi, Molly. Welcome to the Philippines. So aside from being a judge, you're here for another reason. So can you tell us more about that? Um, Mabuhay, first. <laughs> That's great. Um, yes, I'm here not just for being a judge tonight. Um, actually, I came for a visit this community named Baduan, Banduan. In the island of Koran, this community was affected for the, the Typhoon Jolanda last November 8. And now Miss Universe is working together with, with Cordate, is an organization who is doing a beautiful job in this island. Um, they're not just giving the tools, they're, just, they're not just giving the money, but uh, they're trying to make this community stronger, resilient. So they're teaching how they can rebuild the houses, how can they rebuild their life. So it's the most beautiful part to come to Philippines. And I am invite all the people who is <laughs> watching this show, uh, if they want to donate, we are raising money for this beautiful community. And you can go to coordate.org slash Miss Universe to give some of your heart to these people. Wow, thank you, thank you Molly, thank you. for your kindness. And you know, you have a lot of fans here in the Philippines. So yes. what is your message? for all of them. Well, you are such a beautiful people. Uh, I love to be here. I have a lot of fans. And one of my, <laughs> my biggest messages is that people in Philippines is really hard workers. So continue working hard for your dreams and don't put limits, just dream bigger. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. And of course, we also have here Sir, I mean, we know that this is your first time here in the Philippines. It's my first time here, and I love it. And you have I so love many it. fans here. What is your message for them, sir? I'm here to spread Amor. You guys heard my song tonight. I wish every Filipino Amor forever. Thank you, guys. You're amazing. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. And what do you think about the Filipino beauty, sir? Oh, they're stunning. I'm going to choose every single one of them <laughs> as a winner. Can you guys all win? Let's give a grand cheer for the girls. They're incredible. They've been standing here for five hours. Thank you. And we know that you have a CD. Sir, My to new promote? CD. I'm more. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. We really appreciate your Thank presence you. here tonight. Thank you so Salamat much. Po. Yes. Thank you once again for your kindness, Emin and Molly. And now back to Anne and CN for the announcement of this year's winners. Before we proceed, I'd like to thank Edwin Tan, Francis Libiran, Pep Silvestre, and Ton Lau. Yes, and of course, I would also thank, like to thank Robbie Pinera, Raymond Santiago for my hair and makeup, and Francis Libiran and Ezra Santos of Ezra Couture for my gowns. Thank you. All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Are you guys ready? I know I'm ready. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the road to the crown, or better yet, to the crowns as there are five crowns at stake this year has finally reached the finish line. After racing in stilettos, mind you, through the highways of trainings, charity activities, client visits, photo ops with the press, and of course, with the ever-growing number of Bini Bini fans and supporters, it all ends here now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to announce the results of this year's competition. But before that, allow us to thank once again the men and women of BPCI for making this pageant truly the most prestigious, the biggest, and the most successful here in the Philippines. Great job, BPCI, and we shall now proceed with the announcement of the second runner-up. Mga kapamilya, are you ready? The Bini Bini Philippines. Ladies, smile and wave to the crowd. It's your moment, ladies. Good night, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. It's been a wonderful evening. And to our new five queens, we know that you will make us proud. May you always be an inspiration and instrument of hope for all of us as you carry your country's name in the global stage. 
Miss Universe 2014 will be aired only here on ABS TVN. So please watch out for that. Magandang gabi po. At maraming maraming salamat ho sa lahat ng patuloy na sumusuporta sa Binibining Pilipinas hanggang sa susunod na taon po. We hope you all enjoyed the evening. Kaya naman sabay-sabay nating sabihin ang... Philippines!